Here we are, I'm back with episode seven. I've had a little bit of time to work on the HMS Victory and uh, making progress. I've had some, some issues that I'll cover later on in this video. But uh, let me give you a, a quick view of the ship and how it looks as of this moment. And then I'll go back in the video and show some of the steps and some of the errors and things that I had to correct and some things that might be helpful for you if you're building this same model ship. So here's the stage I've reached. I've got the uh, framing for the cannon openings. I've also put the what I'll call hatches on them. And I've got the supports on the outside for the riggings. The back of the ship turned out pretty well. I'm happy with that. So let me show you how I got to this point. I had made a comment in the first video that I was going to complain one time and I wouldn't complain again, but I was never clear on what I was talking about. And it's the instructions. Literally, this is all you get for the construction of the ship itself. It's on two sides of one page. And the areas that are not covered really at all are how you uh, do these, where, where they would be placed. Um, it doesn't mention that there's not enough for every single opening. And I'm sure there is a protocol as to what, what parts of the ship would have them and what would not. But at this point, I have two left and there's quite a few cannon openings, which I think is fine. It's fine with me. So in addition to that one page that I was complaining about, then you also have the one page for the masts and I'm not a master mast maker so we'll see how that goes I do know that you need to taper these down so that's what I'll be working on probably in the in the near future I'm a little disappointed with myself in that I put these belay pins in place and tied the ropes on them they're too large for this scale I'm still undecided. I may just pop them off. The other thing I'm disappointed in is um, I went ahead and, and put dead eyes in. This ship did not come with any. And I tied them up, but they're also too large for this scale ship. So I may end up removing these. The other thing that is not clear on the instructions you have to look pretty close is where these where the where dead eyes normally would be which I'm just going to do ropes straight from those but the positioning that they go in is not clear unless you look real close and it's based on thickness of the material on the parts board these are uh, Y1 which is I believe this one Y2 and Y3, but there's no indication on the instructions where they go. But if you look closely, you'll see that this one is the narrowest, this one's the shortest, and then this one is the one that's left over. So the other thing that I did, I put one of these in place and it would be Y1. So maybe Y1 is the closest to the front, to the bow. And it just showed it kind of positioned right here, and it is above the cannons. Then Y2 goes just below these top cannons, and it shows it all the way up to this opening here. But if that's the case, the spaces between the holes do not match up with the cannon ports. So I'm going to work on this a little bit more and confirm if that's where that goes. And then the one that I messed up goes in between the uh, upper two cannon ports. And so that's kind of messing that up. Although I, it did line up so that the cannon ports are in between them, but I don't like this look at all. So I've opted to put them as indicated on the instructions. I was able to match up two of the cannon ports where there are no um, pre-drilled holes for the rope lines to go up. One, it'll just interfere with it. We'll, I'll play with that when I start.
start doing rope work. And as I mentioned, I'm going to um, just go with the rope lines and I'm not going to put in the dead eyes that I have over here. I'm going to take them off. It's just going to be too cluttered. It is a very tiny ship model and if I wanted to use the dead eyes, I should have ordered some really, really tiny ones. For now, I'm leaving the oversized belaying pins in place. I'll decide that later. I have attached all the supports for the outside rigging. This one I removed. I did have to make a new one. It wasn't too terribly difficult. You can see it looks pretty similar. I need to darken that a little bit right there. But I have those in place. And I think next I'm going to put some of the um, casings around the gun ports. I've decided to start putting some of the framing over the cannon ports and in the beginning I broke a few. I hope they gave extras. If they didn't I'll just uh, use the closed cannon doors on those. Definitely recommend using some sort of magnifying glasses because after I put the um, cut all these out and put them in here they're upside down and the only way you can tell which is the better side is looking through a magnifying glass of some sort. And then the other thing I'm doing, not using super glue on this because they're too hard to get in place exactly right, so I'm just putting some clear glue on a little pad here, also known as a little sleeve of aluminum foil. Wax paper would probably work better, but I had some aluminum foil out here. And then it's just a matter of selecting one of the window covers, looking at it very closely. Sorry if this is off camera. And then these are so fragile, even though I've said it's important to sand off all these little nubs, it's almost impossible to do on these because you'll break them. Um, so I've just been doing it a little bit and then the white mark I've just covered with some black permanent marker. And there's two of them on each one. Then I look closely and determine which is the side that should go up. Then I just uh, dap it in that glue. And then as best I can, center it on the window. So, I have a lot of these to do. I'll do that and then uh, show you it all when it's done. I've been working on the hatch, uh, I'll call them hatches for the cannons where they can be closed and have them all in place. There's not really enough to do every cannon bay. So I left the ones off where there's a covering, you know, where these come out. So. I did all of those. I closed all the bottom ones. I figured that's close to the water line and they would probably be closed unless they were absolutely needed. And then I have a few at random that are closed. I figure there's always got to be a cannon that's being worked on. And that'll save me making a few more of the cannons. So that's it for episode seven, and uh, I'll be working on episode eight, but I'm getting to that crucial stage where everything is uh, pretty painstaking and can be slow, making the masks and the riggings and all those things. So it won't be right away, but I will keep working on it. This is Boiler Dan One, where my motto is, I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing, and my adventure in making model ships. 
And as always, thanks for watching.